Don't forget, some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... is... I am Daniel. What an intro, welcome everybody. Today we are playing Amnesia, The Dark Descent. And this is the first time I've ever played this game. But this is gonna be quite an experience, I think. So I guess we are Daniel, <laughs> according to that intro. And Memento has been added to the journal for quick access to your mementos, press M. Make sure to check these whenever you get stuck. Let's just have a look around at the settings. We can just grab stuff. Whoop, whoop. Throw it around. I have no tender box. Is it going crazy? But this is the first person shooter. Has. Uh. Hey guys, this is Editing Shade from the future. What I meant to say there was first person perspective, not first person shooter. <laughs> There's no guns in this game, I can tell you that. I was just so scared there. I just did anything. <laughs> anyway, back to the game. So you're basically just su supposed to survive <laughs> and not die. You can close yourself inside, yeah? <laughs> Hide away from people. Or you can just pick up the chair. Or you can rotate it around. Chuck it. Oof. Have some of that. Do you want some of this? What? <laughs> Their health is good. Sanity is crystal clear. Got some tinder boxes. And then he has our journal. Got notes, no notes are available. No diaries are available. Mementos to tell you, follow the liquid trail and find its source. Okay, so that's what we should be doing. Following that pink stuff on the floor. So the pink stuff is coming down here. <laughs> now, I've never played this game before because I am very scared of horror games. Now that I'm a big boy, I decided to play it. <laughs> oh, what the frick is that? <laughs> I'm already scared. Run. What's happening? He's like drunk. <laughs> oh, I felt super drunk there. Following the pink stuff. Here, what's in this room? Sanity will drain. Put the light on. Ooh. What's happening? Yeah. Oh, it's Jesus. I thought this dude was naked. <laughs> Jesus Christ being... ...sacrificed. <laughs> they put him up on the cross. What's inside here? Yeah, take the clothes. Let's get dressed. But I need a new uh, pair of underwear after this, I'm sure. <laughs> So you gotta complete puzzles to get your sanity back up. Oh, what's happening? Do 
Give me the lantern. Press F to turn it on. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you're gonna run out of oil and stuff like that. Oh shit, maybe I should have used it there. <laughs> oh, I was just gonna say this, guys. I'm super scared. <laughs> I might not see, bud. What is that? <laughs> Oh man. This is an unsettling game to play. Give me fire. Guess I wasted my oil. Oh, your stuff there. Yeah. There's anything special about those two books. Throw them into the fire. Yeah, I said get into the fire. Why won't you listen to you? Guess it doesn't want to go into the fire. Gotta find some more tinder boxes. Nineteenth of August, eighteen thirty-nine. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. He's writing letters to himself. I guess a whole objective of this game is to kill Alexander, the person that owns this mansion. But there is something following us. So what's that noise? Come on. Blood. Throw these boxes everywhere. Oh, let's burn this place. Let's just make a mess. Maybe the spirit will get angry with me. Whatever's following me. Uh, uh, break that. Uh, break that. This glass doesn't even break. It has a switch. They unlocked some secret passage. We're gonna run away from something now. Oh, I ran out of oil. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Oh, I have it. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Can't be torn. Let's get ourselves the fire. Can you burn it down? Can it be dissolved? I don't know. Can it be dissolved? Ah, it's killing. Another painting. 
these all like religious paintings. I don't know if I should go that way. That's where we came from, eh? Yeah, let's just go this way. Oh, we can't go that way, so let's not go that way. <laughs> the magical ooze just appeared. What's kicking about this way? The laboratory. The door slammed shut behind him and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. London! Oh, what the... What the hell? Oh, I'm tripping out, guys. I'm tripping out. It's so cold. His sanity is going crazy. Step into the light. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vate. The former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Caliban and Orpiment are a given, and the cuprite binds them well. This time I will attempt Aqua Regia instead of Aqua Fortis in hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I must be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to the predicament. There should be more Kubrat. Let me see, let me see. And one part Aqua Force. Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Kindle, is it Kindle? I have to crouch. Tinder box. Get into the light. Chemical relocation. The lack of chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. All the ingredients are gone. Now let's get out of here. Get out of the dark. The other children cheered him on, his name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought and struck his victim with the rock. What the? <laughs> I got a fright. Cellar. That's a cellar down there. Someone's screaming. I'll save you, but I can't do anything there. No, I won't save you yet. Need a key for the cellar. Okay, it looks locked. <laughs> it won't budge. Super strength. This game is quite cool. I can't believe I've never played it before. So far, it's quite cool. It's quite puzzly. Tabularium. Archives. Let's go to the archives. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in the fear she would too be punished. Is this this Alexander guy that's punishing everyone or what? I don't know. Notes. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought, 
and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. That's in Algeria. No busy. Searching for something. Ah, oh, nothing in the drawers. Ah, disappointing. I mean, these cockroaches sound freaking crazy. Sound like snakes. They get no maps or anything. This place is massive. What the hell is that? More notes. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Trapped inside a cave. Ooh, what are we gonna do? You get amnesia inside of the cave. <laughs> Throw this chair into the light. Anything inside here? Probably not. Oh, there's some clothes that gets changed. Hey, what's the this door? You just hear like the stranger sounds. Local history. I know he's starting to freak out. His sanity is going crazy. Here we got some oil. I'll just put that light on because I was starting to panic. <laughs> Nothing in the air. It doesn't look like it. What is that noise? I've been in this room. Oh, I'm so lost. up oil. Let's play some piano. Sing me a tune, get out the way. Time for me to jam some piano. Well, you can't even play. F. I thought I had oil. I don't have to like combine it or something. What's inside the treasure chest? Oh, come on. I was playing the piano there. <laughs> oh, he's doing that. Much of the castle.
castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. So I guess that was Alexander wanting to get his mansion fixed up. It's all like the blueprints to the mansion. Take some of that. Tinder box. Scared. Was oh, that a map? Wow, this thing's been nothing to me. Baba! I think it is like a puzzle or something. Seventeenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. Trapped inside of the ground. Okay. Gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I'm coming, mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The sky was on DMT. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most Relic. No one's playing piano anymore. Oh, this is like blocked off there. Hey, that's like a wall. Not breakable by hand. So we need some sort of tool. Can I use this? <laughs> yeah, let's break it with this. Oh, no, wait. Come on, I need something more sturdy. Ah, the chair. Give me this chair. Break you with the chair. <laughs> and that's how you get the job done. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, then. There's something, yeah, what's that noise? Spooky, spooky. I need to break this. Give me something. Allstadt and Brandenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Allstadt, deep within the East Prussian woods. Prussian. For centuries there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brandenburg. The quiet forest clad mountains dressed with scattered lakes is as picturesque as can be. I'll bet the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you'll hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such 
conversation since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twist on the tales, but there are some motives that keep re reappearing. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years War. It is said that the soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold, dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have sighted them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp, burlap, sacks dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, the well-known erudite, visited Alstate at the start of the 16th century. He resided in a local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some 10 years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alstate, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods and what happened to him? The Immortal Baron The Baron of Brandenburg lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Alstadt, and like most of those of noble birth, rumours are inherited alongside with the title. Research in the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Persian state. Prussian. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is, in fact, the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation and joined the coveted Order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. There's some interesting folklore there. Pull this out. That's the sound you hear. Pull this out. Locked. Why is it locked? Oh no, it's starting to get insane in the membrane. Insane, got no brain. Hey, got something to do with these books. Pull them out. Is there any more books? Am I missing some books? He has another one. There we go. That's how you get the job done. Is that Mother Mary and the baby? It's all like religion paintings. There we got the key. Picked up the wine cellar key. Well, how many fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and, and is killing my trusty servants. It's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brandenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would in a sense solve both of my problems. <laughs> well, this guy was up to no problem. Good. And then you just like lock people away. Now, how do we get out of here? Uh, oh, this door just magically opened up. Oh, I'm out of feel. We need to get to the wine cellar. Oh. Holy shit, there's someone here.
have a bit of that, seems like I have. It was done, the men said. The tomb has been revealed. Tin Hinan awaits, grinned the toothless foreman. What the fuck? Jeez, what's going on? I'm stuck. I'm pushing the wrong button. <laughs> Oh, I got a right there. That red stuff fucks you up. Oh, where's the wild salad out here somewhere? Let's get our ingredients. The stone slab looked like a safety measure. It wasn't meant to be moved ever again. In the box, can I jump? Oh. Where did the baron go? Who cares? He left us in a wine to last us a lifetime. Or at least until tomorrow! <laughs> Getting nice and drunk. Okay, we got one of it. Keep right. <laughs> Why is it going red? Throw everything around. Doesn't look like there's anything in here. My new stupid. Anyway. Do you want to go in there after that happened? This room is still so dark. What's happening? Oh, it feels like my chest is going to burst. Oh. My God, Wilhelm, do something! Except we're not getting out of here. How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> Valam's last words. My name is Valam, House of Gerrick. These are my final words, my confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned to the castle of Benenberg. As most of the aristocracy, I was curious about what the supposed knight of the order could want from me and accepted the invitation. The Baron was friendly and offered me a proposition. It dawned on me that the nature of the contract was sordid and that the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not the honors I've been rewarded with during my times as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon his slightest whim and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advance in my position with noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my decision, but it came swiftly and accepted wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I brought men, women, and children to Brennenburg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred, none of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine and my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and I fell into his diabolic ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against the God-given nature. Blood has begun to pour from my eyes and I can no longer... I can no longer live. That's what you get for. Kidnapping poor innocent people. Let's 
to just like take everything out of their homes, but there's nothing there. Two of the four ingredients so far. The store locked. I guess it is. I thought it was telling me that there's an enemy close, I guess there is soon. Oh shit, there he is. I'm out in this corner. Hey shit, you can't stare at him, man. to make progress. I want to throw down stuff. I'm drunk. I don't use it, so you just double click. All is good, I need some insanity booster. Now we got three of the ingredients. Behind the rocks or something. <gasps> and now we're waking up from our sleep. So I have amnesia again. Where's the door? Wasn't it just like, yeah, as it collapsed? Let's just light up here before we go crazy. Babies. Babies crying. And I can't move this thing. Strength. Strength of a puba, puba, puba. Puba. There's rocks in my way. Obati Rock. That's just right, I have no oil for my lantern. It became impossible to avoid the co The commotion in the streets begged for his attention. As he opened the shutters, the French soldiers opened fire on the two young men fighting back. The voices were silenced in a haze of gun smoke. The red stuff's everywhere. How do you mix this stuff? Is an appropriate apparatus. Do we have to go back to the lab? The laboratory mass. 
laboratory. It doesn't look like we can go back there. on read doing some chemistry here guys oh man I'm pushing on the wrong thing do that again Chemistry skills aren't very good. <laughs> Yay! Pot of acid. Let's take it. Go on a nice trip. Oh, there's stairs, Brick. Stairs have collapsed, find a way to climb back up. Oh, that's one way to do it. We. Let's dissolve you away. Great success. Now what's gonna happen? Go to the refinery. A cloth smelled of desert and damp musk. The pieces lay scrambled on top. Too many of them, he thought. Or perhaps too few. That of oil. dark in here. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason? For the darkness, that is. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Dandel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. Creature of the night, let's run away. Yeah, I want to get inside yeah. Oof. That's a weird trap. Hmm. 
Fuck, baby's crying in the background. I got my baby back, baby back. Notes. 22nd of June, 1839. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? What are those noises? But he was returning from his adventures, it seems like. Doesn't look like there's anything else. What am I actually even looking for? Not the clog in the pulley. Need something to open this somehow. 